Today, we will show you how you can use automation to ensure that parent and their subtasks issues are kept in sync based on status changes or custom field changes. Stay tuned for the full tutorial. Welcome to Ellie Solutions for a Jira Automation Tutorial. My name is John and in this tutorial we will show you how you can use automation to ensure that parent and their subtasks issues are kept synchronized. When dealing with subtasks and their parent issues, it's important to ensure related issues are kept in sync. Automation makes this easy using branch rules. For example, when you resolve a subtask, you can set up a rule to automatically transition the parent issue if there are no additional unresolved subtasks. Every rule starts with a trigger, select issue transitioned. This trigger lets your rule run when an issue transitions from one status to another. Set the trigger to respond when an issue is transitioned to done status. Let's now add a condition. Add an issue fields condition to your rule that checks if the issue type is a subtask. If the issue that triggered the rule is not a subtask, then the rule will stop running. Branch the rule, selecting parent as the related issue type. This will mean that subsequent conditions and actions will be performed on the parent issue of the issue that triggered the rule. Add a related issues condition to your rule to check if subtasks match the status equals to done. This will ensure that all subtasks of the parent issue have the status set to done. Finally, set and configure the transition issue action so that the status of the parent issue is changed to done. Give your rule a name and publish it. Let's create a new parent issue. Let's now create two new subtasks. We will now transition the two statuses to the done status. As you can see, the automation kicks in and the parent ticket is updated to the done status. Another common use case is for subtasks to inherit values from their parent, for example, fix versions. You can sync these values to ensure that both parent and subtask have up-to-date information. Let's create this rule together. Use the field value change trigger. This trigger lets your rule run when the value of a selected field changes. Set the trigger to monitor the fix versions field. Branch the rule, selecting subtask as the related issue type. This will mean that subsequent conditions and actions will be performed on any subtasks of the issue that triggered the rule. Let's now set the action. Set and configure the edit issue action to set the fix versions field by copying the value from the parent issue or triggered issue. Give your rule a name and publish the rule. Now let's test the new rule. First we will verify that the parent ticket doesn't have the fixed versions field set. Now let's open a subtask to ensure that it's also not set.
we will go back to the parent task and we will add a new version 1.0 to the fix versions field. Let's go back to the open subtask. As you can see the subtask has been updated to fix versions 1.0. Let's open the remaining subtask as well. As you can see the subtask has been updated with the fix versions from the parent. And that's how you can use automation to ensure that the parent and its subtasks are kept synchronized. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you would like to be notified of new JIRA tutorials.